Controlled environment agriculture is a technology-based approach toward food production. The aim of C is to provide protection and maintain optimal growing conditions throughout the development of the crop. Production takes place within an enclosed growing structure such as a greenhouse or building. Plants are often grown using hydroponic methods in order to supply the proper amounts of water and nutrients to the root zone. C optimizes the use of resources such as water, energy, space, capital and labor. C technologies include hydroponics, aeroponics, aquaculture, and aquaponics. Technical implementation Controllable variables Temperature air, nutrient solution, root zone, leaf Humidity percent RH Carbon dioxide CO2 Light intensity, spectrum, duration and intervals Nutrient concentration PPM, EC Nutrient pH acidity Pestsia facilities can range from fully 100% environmentally controlled enclosed closed loop systems, to fully automated glasshouses with computer controls for watering, lighting and ventilation, to low-tech solutions such as cloches or plastic film on field-grown crops and plastic-covered tunnels. C methods can be used to grow literally any crop, though the reality is a crop has to be economically viable and this will vary considerably due to local market pricing, and resource costs. Motivation Crops can be grown for food, pharmaceutical and nutraceutical applications. It can also be used to grow algae for food or for biofuels. Using C methods increase food safety by removing sources of contamination, and increases the security of supply as it is unaffected by outside environment conditions, and by eliminating seasonality create stable market pricing which is good for farmer and consumer alike. C is used in research so that a specific aspect of production can be isolated while all other variables remain the same. Tinted glass could be compared to plain glass in this way during an investigation into photosynthesis. Another possibility would be an investigation into the use of supplementary lighting for growing lettuce under a hydroponic system. A February 2011 article in the magazine Science Illustrated states In commercial agriculture, C can increase efficiency, reduce pests and diseases, and save resources. Replicating a conventional farm with computers and LED lights is expensive but proves cost efficient in the long run by producing up to 20 times as much high-end, pesticide-free produce as a similar size plot of soil. 14,000 square feet of closely monitored plants produce 15 million seedlings annually at the solar-powered factory. Such factories will be necessary to meet urban China's rising demand for quality fruits and vegetables. Industry As of 2018, an estimated 40 indoor vertical farms exist in the United States, some of which produce commercially sold produce and others which are not yet selling to consumers. Another source estimates over 100 startups in the space of 2018. In Asia, adoption of indoor agriculture has been driven by consumer demand for quality. The Recirculating Farms Coalition is a U.S. trade organization for hydroponic farmers, AeroFarms, founded in 2011, raised $40 million in 2017 and reportedly opened the largest indoor farm in the world in Newark, New Jersey in 2015. By 2018 it built its tenth indoor farm, Plenty, Inc., based out of South San Francisco, raised over $200 million in 2017. Economics 
The economics of indoor farming has been challenging, particularly the price of electricity, and several startups shut down as a result. Advances in LED lighting have been one of the most important advances for improving economic viability. Organic agriculture In 2017, the U.S. National Organic Standards Board voted to allow hydroponically grown produce to be labeled as certified organic. See also Aeroponics Aquaculture Aquaponics Building Integrated Agriculture Controlled Environment Agriculture Center at the University of Arizona Greenhouse Hydroponics Vertical Farming